Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today we'll talk about why future computer chips may be made out of honey. Let's head into it. Honey is hardly the first thing to come to mind when you imagine a computer chip. But researchers at Washington State University think the future of computer chips is rooted in honey. Yep, honey created by bees could be a high ingredient of neuromorphic computer chips. The scientists claim that such tech could pave the way for sustainable, biodegradable, and fast computing. But what is neuromorphic computing, you wonder? It refers to artificial computing that attempts to mimic how the human brain works. Such neuromorphic computing essentially simulates how neurons in our brains work. Although many of us may be impressed with how advanced computers are these days, our own brains are far more impressive still. That's why neuromorphic computing is sometimes thought of as the future of technology, because the human brain can still process, analyze, and adapt to what it sees in ways that a computer cannot. While computers can process tremendous amounts of data much, much faster than a human could, we still retain the upper ground when it comes to a approaching problems creatively. Neuromorphic computing is meant to serve as a bridge between the human brain and technology, enabling autonomous systems that can simulate something close to human cognition. Such systems are meant to be much faster and less power hungry than even the best PC currently available. Now it seems that honey could play a part in making these futuristic devices a lot more sustainable for our planet. The engineers at WSU were able to create a functioning memristor out of honey. A memristor is a component similar to a transistor, and it's capable of both processing and storing data in memory, much the way a human brain can. These devices are infinitesimally small. In the case of this study, the memristor was the width of a human hair, but it needs to be made much smaller in order to serve its intended purpose in the future. The target size would be around a thousandth of a human hair, meaning these memristors would need to be developed on a nanoscale. This is because millions, if not billions, of memristors are going to be used in building a full, functional functioning, high-performance neuromorphic computing system. As a means of comparison, the human brain has over 100 billion neurons, or over 1,000 trillion synapses. Each neuron can both process and store data, which makes the brain much more efficient than a traditional computer. And developers of neuromorphic computing systems aim to mimic that structure, the team explained. Several companies, including Intel and IBM, have already released neuromorphic chips, which have the equivalent of more than 100 million neurons per chip. But this is not yet near the number in the brain. Feng Zhao, associate professor of Washington State University's School of Engineering and Computer Science, was the co-author of the study alongside a graduate student, Brandon Suoka. Zhao compared the honey-made memristor to a human neuron, stating that it has very similar functionalities while retaining a very small size. In order to achieve the desired effect, the scientists used true honey. They processed it into a solid form, which was then placed between two metal electrodes, a simulation of a human synapse. Through research, they were able to discover that the honey memristor successfully emulated the way human synapses work. This was measured by the device's ability to quickly switch on and off at the speed similar to the human brain, between 100 and 500 nanoseconds. It definitely seems that honey memristors could be promising in terms of performance when it comes to neuromorphic computing, but they have another obvious perk. They're fully biodegradable, while the team has also explored using other organic materials materials, such as proteins and sugars. Honey seems to be the winner so far. The team published its findings in an issue of Journal of Physics D, Applied Physics. Of course, the researchers have a long way to go before implementing this technology anywhere near something that might be used by the industry at large. However, the first crucial steps have already been made. Next time you add a spoonful of honey to your tea, consider that one day, in some distant future, you might be using a computer that runs on that very same substance. Renewable and biodegradable, Zhao and his team are also looking into using proteins and other sugars, such as those found in aloe vera leaves. Matisse sees strong potential in honey. Honey doesn't spoil, he said. It has a very low moisture concentration, so bacteria cannot survive in it. This means these computer chips will be very stable and reliable for a very long time. The researchers say that honey memristor chips they developed should also tolerate the lower levels of heat generated by neuromorphic systems, which don't get as hot as traditional computers. Importantly, honey memristors would help reduce electronic waste by creating renewable and biodegradable neuromorphic systems, Zhao said. When we want to dispose of devices using computer chips made of honey, we can easily dissolve them in water, he said. This also means he cautioned that just like conventional computers, users will still have to avoid spilling their coffee on them. What do you think about computer chips made out of honey? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our 
video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.